Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a current subscriber, welcome if you are new. If you like tarot readings, feel free to join the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. You'll be notified each time I do upload a new video. If you are interested in a personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Today's pick a card reading is if you are in no contact, the person that you're in separation with, the person you are thinking about. We're gonna see what are their feelings, what are their intentions, what are their next actions or moves towards you, if any. I do have the abundance card with the glasses as group one. The Lessons card with the heart is group two, and the Timing card with the clock is group three. Take a moment, see which one you're drawn to, and the timestamps we listed down below. Hi, group one. If you chose the Abundance card with the glasses, this says financial blessings, healthy money perspective, and financial independence. We are going to take a look at the person on your mind. Their overall energy right now is they are looking at things from a different perspective when it comes to maybe their career or their finances. Maybe they are trying to gain some financial independence outside of the connection with you. So we're gonna find out what is this person's current feeling, the person that you are thinking about, group one. Okay, so group one, this is somebody who is thinking a lot about maybe needing to stay isolated. They have a lot of negative thoughts when it comes to their position and what they truly want when it comes to their financial position. And they're really feeling fearful that maybe they are not able to provide when it comes to a monetary status in this connection. This is somebody who is very determined to change things, but they are trying to balance everything out right now. They're trying to make what is the best decision possible in order to regain the establishment of their career or their finances. So they could be working a lot, they could have maybe picked up a second job, but they know that they are not in a position to provide financially when it comes to this connection. So let's see what are their intentions. Group one. You could be dealing with a Cancer sign or a Pisces. This is somebody, group one, that is really trying to take control over their life. They are really working on trying to have some type of achievement when it comes to their success and really trying to take action in a new direction. So they are very determined to be able to not let you know kind of what's going on. And that's just because this person could feel very you know immature or they could feel very much like they're embarrassed to even let you know that they really have went no contact or they are in separation because of their financial difficulties this is somebody who is really trying to work through what they need to but they're doing it in silence so let's see if they're going to take any actions towards you group one Okay, so this is definitely somebody who is thinking a lot about this connection and the separation of this connection. I'm gonna cover these cards up since they're naked. So this is somebody who is really trying to make the right choice and the right decision. So with their intentions, they want to be able to build up the strength of the connection in time. But they know that right now that they have to take action and they have to change their instability that they have right now. They know that maybe by going quiet wasn't the right thing to do and they do recognize they probably do need to apologize and that they're hoping that you'll eventually forgive them. But right now they're having to escape from the connection to really focus on what is important to them. Now they are going to eventually come back around. That is something that this person truly does desire because they don't feel complete without you. So this is somebody who really is recognizing that they want to be with you in the long term, but they cannot be with you in the present energy. So let's find out group one. Okay, yep, they are working really, really hard. They could be 38 years old or you could be 38 years old. This is somebody who knows that maybe the efforts they put in the past when it came to their finances and getting things in order that they didn't make it a priority. 
That is something that they are focusing on right now, but they're too embarrassed to let you know that. So they do think a lot about you. They wonder what you're up to. They wonder how you've been. And they, they almost paint this picture or this fantasy or this illusion of the hope for the future, that they're very devoted in making the changes they need now so that they can eventually come towards you. Yep, they are working on becoming a little bit more mature and a lot more responsible when it comes to their money and their career. So you could receive communication. It could be seven days, seven weeks, seven months when it comes to this person. They may send you a text message. They may send you a letter, but they may try to reach out to you just to kind of get an update and see how you are doing before they're ready to fully come towards you. This is somebody who is definitely going to come back with a different perspective when it comes to what they want and how successful they've been. So they are really trying to gain the independence. They know that the way they maybe went quiet or they're not talking, maybe you're perceiving things a little bit different than what they truly are. And maybe it was something impulsively that they decided to do, but they're actually just a little bit too embarrassed to let you know that this is truly what they need to do in order to fix their finances. So let's get some advice. What is the advice for group one in this situation? Okay, so recognizing that even though it may not be conventional, it may not be what you truly need right now, but the separation is something that is truly needed for this person. Being in no contact is something that this person needs in order to focus on what is important right now. They are knowing that there is this loss of identity because they really have not stepped up before to do what they needed to do to be responsible. So for you, group one, this is a matter of you recognizing that even though it may be a little bit of a suspense of not knowing what's going to happen and it could cause you a little bit of stress or anxiety, don't feel completely left out in the cold. The universe is letting you know that this is happening so that you can actually focus on yourself. Even though this is something that maybe you don't want and you weren't ready to accept it, this is something that is really important for you to go through so that you can really focus on yourself and really enjoy the time that you have while you are by yourself. Recognize the choices and opportunities that you can make while you are in separation with this person. Okay, that is what I have for you, group one. If you would like your own personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Thank you. Bye. Hi, group two. If you chose this heart lessons card, this says love lessons learned. Shift in perspective, raising your vibration. So group two, we're going to take a look and see the person on your mind that you're not in contact with, the person you're in separation with. What are their current feelings towards you? What are their intentions? And what are their next actions or moves, if any? So I do feel like this person does have a lot of romantic feelings for you, group two. And they are trying to maybe learn or understand what those feelings truly are. So let's find out what are their actual feelings, group two. Okay, so this person could be a air sign or a um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who maybe has been moving very, very slow. And that is because this person has really been holding back from you. They really have been conserving any type of emotions or any type of vulnerability. This person is somebody who is being very methodical on what they say, when they say it, how they say it. This is someone who's been very indecisive or maybe even confused and they needed to maybe go in silence or away from you to really try to see things from a different perspective, to try to understand, are these feelings real or are these maybe a lustful feelings, things that they only felt because of the intimacy or is there something more that they're supposed to be learning from this connection? So this person has went silent or quiet to really gain that clarity and insight of what this connection truly is and how they feel about it. So let's see what are their intentions.
Okay, so this person is still trying to make some hard choices and decisions. They might be being a little bit naive when it comes to it's not that big of a deal to express these feelings and emotions, but this is somebody who really is trying to discover themselves. They could be younger than you, maybe not have a lot of dating experience, or they could be somebody who maybe had went through a really hard relationship in the past and it really hurt them and it made them really um, not be able to want to love again. And maybe they're recognizing by going quiet with you or in separation that they have a lot of feelings for you in their heart. And this is something that it's bringing up these old wounds from their past because, not because of the pain, but because it has to do with them being able to open up and let you know how special you truly are. So this person is really trying to raise their mindset and gain the mental clarity to be able to not hesitate and to really accept that it's okay to be able to open up and express these feelings towards you. Let's see what their next actions or moves are. Okay, so this person definitely is going through some type of major awakening is what's gonna happen to this person. They maybe will be spending a little bit too much time resisting being able to open up and there might be even a lot of fear that they have because they've been hesitating for quite a while in regards to these feelings, but something is going to be revealed to this person and they're gonna recognize that they are not finished learning their life lesson when it comes to the connection with you and it's gonna force this person to come back to you. And I think what might actually happen is that you may actually decide not to wait on this person and they may find out that you are entertaining other people, that you are talking to other people, maybe even getting into another relationship. And this is going to really shake this person up. It's going to make this person understand that they need to stop in their tracks of where they're at and they need to really shift their perspective and turn around and go back. And that's what they're gonna do is they're gonna come back because they're gonna feel very inspired. They're, whatever you're going to be doing is going to ignite something within this person that's really gonna shake them up to want to come back and come out of this silent mode or no contact mode. So let's find out some other details for group two. Yep, they're definitely gonna, gonna be making that decision once this tower moment happens. This um, person could be 30 years old or you could be 30 years old. This person doesn't want to, to be left alone. They don't want to feel like they're gonna lose you forever. So when you do whatever it is that you're gonna do, they're gonna look at things from a different perspective and recognize that they don't want this to be over. They don't want to walk away anymore and they're gonna turn around and try to come right back to you. Yep, there's your lover's card right there. They'll wanna come back into union with you. They maybe will let you know that they'll be very dedicated in trying to earn your trust back and maybe they will let you even know that they know that you're with somebody else but that person isn't as good as they are. This is definitely somebody who is gonna be very concerned with the outcome because they have taken maybe a little bit too long to try to come back to you. It's one of those things, use it or lose it. So you either use your feelings and emotions and express them or you lose it by not having that opportunity. And that's what this person's gonna be forced into. They're gonna be forced by whatever you, your actions, something is gonna hit them like a ton of bricks that they need to take action. Now, your advice is that you do have free will. Maybe you decide, you know what, I waited for this person for several weeks, several months, however long it's been, that you don't want to wait anymore. And maybe you decide you do want to date other people. And when this person comes back to you, that is the choice that you have, that you don't have to be forced to go back into this relationship with this person, but it is ultimately your decision. It's your choice and you can surrender to the process and let the person know that, you know, maybe you've already detached from the connection and you maybe are deciding that you don't want to go back into it, that the way the person went no contact and while you were in separation, maybe you spent a lot of time really focusing on yourself and building up your confidence and recognizing what's truly important to you. 
So the advice for you is really not to take any action right away. Just wait for a sign, step back, let the universe do what it needs to do when it comes to divine timing. If you are hoping that this person will come back, they are going to, but don't not do what you wanna do in the process. Don't wait, don't stay stuck in this energy of, I'm just gonna wait for them to come back. I'm gonna wait for them to recognize that I'm the one for them. Don't do that. The universe is saying, you know what? Keep focusing on you, do whatever makes you happy, and go towards that, because once you do that, you're gonna truly receive what you want, which is this person is going to chase you. This person is gonna to come towards you. They're going to want to be with you, and that's because you're gonna make the decision ultimately to decide to move on. And once you do that, it's gonna be this boomerang effect. This person's gonna have this aha moment and they're gonna recognize that they're gonna lose you because you're already with somebody else or maybe that they've already lost you. But they're gonna to try to come back and do undo what they've already done with this separation. Okay, group two, that is what I have for you. If you would like your own personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Thank you, bye. Hi, group three, if you chose this timing and clock card, this is going to be your reading all about the person on your mind. This says bad timing, waiting for the right time, and patience is needed. So there is some patience that is needed because divine timing is at play with this connection being in no contact and in separation. So let's find out, group three, the person on your mind, what are their feelings towards you in the current moment? Okay, so you could be dealing with an earth sign or an air sign. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. This is something, this person is kind of going through this emotional moment right now. That maybe you have broke up with this person and you have went in no contact or you are in separation with them. But this person is feeling hurt right now. They're feeling a lot of loss when it comes to the connection. And there is this need for patience because this person is trying to figure out where do they go now? How do they move forward? And they're trying to understand, can they really persevere through this to be able to come back and be more dependable for you? Because you didn't break up with them for no reason. You could have broke up with them because maybe you had better choices and opportunities, that maybe there were other people involved. Maybe your person was somebody who entertained other people. But this person is recognizing that they do feel that there is a little bit of space or time needed to maybe deflate the situation. That maybe the last time you were in contact, the both of you, it was very heated and very toxic. And this person feels that even though they want to reach out, they want to be very much able to provide some type of conversation or communication to you. They recognize right now that now is not the time to do that, that they can't open that door in the present moment because they feel this pain and this hurt. Maybe words were exchanged in your last conversation and this person is replaying those um, those conversations and it's just hurting this person. So let's see what are their intentions, group three. Let me cover up these naked people here on this card. Okay, so their intentions here, group three, is they are very much um, trying to maybe go through and recognize what has triggered this situation? Why has this all happened? This is something that this person is very sensitive about right now. And it could be that their unhappiness, they could be looking within themselves, trying to understand what did they do that opened the door for this situation to happen? What did they do within themselves? Because clearly this person did something that made you shut the door on them. So it's a matter of, you know, did this person restrict and not give you what you needed? And that's what this person's going through. They're working through their inner turmoils of how they feel 
and they're really not letting anybody know that. They're just trying to listen to their own knowledge, their own intuition, and they're trying to let that guide them. And they're conflicted. They're conflicted because they don't want to accept the truth of the matter of what they did. So their their intentions really are to still like think a lot about it and try to process it, but they're not ready to accept it. They're not trying to accept any responsibility or any accountability on their own actions yet. So let's see what is their next actions for group three. Okay, so this person knows that what they've done has caused this situation. That the truth of the matter is that they didn't give to the connection like they should have. That they're gaining the clarity. Once they overcome this conflict within themselves and they start to accept their own responsibility, that what they've done has created this situation. And what that's doing for this person, it's making this person recognize that even though their toxic behavior or their bad traits cause them their own pain because of what they've done to you, they still want the chance to be able to come towards you with a new beginning. They still want to resolve it. They want to try to make things right. This is somebody who really is feeling the inspiration of trying to start over trying to understand what they've done and once they learn to accept what they've done wasn't fair, wasn't right, and they played just as much part in the breakup as maybe you did because of their own actions, they are wanting to come back towards you. They wanna have that leap of faith in the hope that maybe you would want to take this person back. So let's get some more details of this outcome for group three. be dealing with a Capricorn could also be a cancer sign okay so this person is really gaining their intuition their intuition is really guiding them and recognizing what it is has happened and they want to be the main person in your life now your advice is to listen to your intuition and recognize do you see the potential in this new beginning or is this a lost cause? Is this a repeated cycle that the two of you have been through multiple times? And maybe your patience is done. Maybe it was the last time, it was the last straw and you didn't want to repeat the cycle. And maybe you waited long enough for this person to step up. This person could be 32 or 33 or you could be. And when you come to that realization of understanding that maybe this person wasn't as dedicated as they should have been in the connection, that you might need to take a change in direction. That you may decide that you have spent enough time, you've had enough patience, and you're no longer contributing to it. And that maybe you decide you're just going to be single and you're going to be independent and not have to focus on this person anymore. Even though family may be important to you, you are wanting a sense of security, a sense of loyalty and dedication that this connection did not provide to you. And like I said, you gave this person a lot of patience and a lot of time. So I feel like group three, you obviously have free will, but you're gonna listen to your intuition when they come back and you're going to be able to understand what is really important, what is going to give you that security. Your intuition is something that is going to guide you in making that right decision. You're gonna go through some type of awakening when it comes to your emotions, and you're gonna recognize that you're done contributing to it, that you can provide your own security and your own love and your own compassion for yourself, that you don't need this person to be able to do that for you. And there is gonna be a sense of stability that you're gonna gain throughout this process. You may hesitate a little bit because this person, obviously you had a connection or a relationship with this person and you may feel that you did love this person at one point and you might be afraid to even 
consider wanting to take them back. But I think because the trust has been broken so many times over and over again, maybe there was promises of higher level of commitment or maybe that things were going to go to the next level and maybe you always believed what this person had said, but things never actually panned out that way. You're gonna recognize that you're gonna make the best decision based on what your intuition is going to tell you at that time when they come back. And I feel like group three, you're going to probably let this person know that your patience has ran out and you can no longer complete the cycle again with this person. Of course, you do have free will, everyone does have free will. Okay, that is what I have for you, group three. If you would like your own personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Thank you, bye.